There are some essential skills we need students to have in the 21st century. This is probably the first generation of students that we're trying to prepare for jobs that don't exist yet. Children are born engineers. They love to tinker with things. They love to figure out how things work. And so if we can nurture that, then we're growing our next crop of engineers. STEM is science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. All students have an opportunity, no matter what grade they're in or what they're going to pursue in life, that they can take a class that relates to one of the areas of science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. Where some schools have it as just a class that sits alone, we try to embed it in many different areas. This course is a combination of construction and math. They're going to build a two-car garage with a master bedroom above. Our construction classes, they go out in the community and they do additions. In addition to what goes on during the classes they register for, we have a number of opportunities for after school. We're the first robotics team. We're called the Technocrats. It's an after school club and we've been building robots for a few years. This is from last year's competition. Uh, it's a leftover mini bot. about is the six simple machines, so pulley, inclined plane, lever, wheel and axle, uh, wedge, and they're using all the machines and tying them together into one continuous process called, uh, we call it the Rube Goldberg design. Since the year 2000, the number of jobs in the STEM fields has doubled, and there will be more and more jobs in the STEM fields, and so getting kids used to the idea that they can solve problems and that they are engineers and they can be engineers will help their future careers and for future problem solving. Yeah, what's something that you know that you've investigated already about magnets? The magnets will have a north and a south side. All right, excellent. In Hopkins, um, the vision is we are, will build a program where students will have experience starting in the early elementary years through grade five. And then in sixth grade, we're looking at more middle level experiences that tie to their science curriculum. You have equal high pressure here, equal high pressure here, right? And then as they go into the junior high program, there are teachers doing STEM in math and, and in science and working together. And the technology education program also uses a curriculum um, through Project Lead the Way, which is an engineering curriculum. Project Lead the Way is part of our STEM initiative, so it's curriculum directed at students who are interested in engineering, and actually we're trying to get all students interested in engineering. We're going to have a huge shortfall of engineers in the coming years. Most of our current engineers in the U.S. are retiring, and there just doesn't seem to be a good influx of engineers coming into colleges. So that's our goal, is to get them excited about engineering and get them into those programs at the college level as well. I believe in my heart that the program we're putting together will provide students what they need to be successful. The mind is our whole future. It depends on growing these children's abilities. When I'm old, these are the people that are going to be making the inventions that are going to be making my life better.